Hi guys. <clears throat> what I want to show you here is how to enable and disable internet while keeping your LAN active. So you can keep your LAN on, your internal LAN, while disabling or enabling your internet. So you can have your, uh, your internet on with your LAN on or your internet off with your LAN on. But anyway, first things first, you need to go into command. CMD, enter. Up here in command prompts, type in IP config. Now here, you need to remember the name of your adapter. Now it's whether you're on Ethernet or you're on Wi-Fi, you need to remember the name. That's the name of what it's called. Mine's called Ethernet. It could be called anything. You, it could be called LAN or whatever you've got it named as. Or if it's a Wi-Fi, it'll be called Wi-Fi or whatever that name is. You need to remember that name. You need to remember your IPv4 address, which is there. Your subnet mask, which is automatic unless you're on a different subnet. And the gateway IP, you need to remember that. So you need to write that down. Write that down, your IPv4 address, your gateway, which you don't really need to unless it's different than that. And your, uh, your, your subnet mask, should I say. Or your gate, and your gateway, you need that gateway IP. So your address, subnet, gateway and the name of your adapter so once you've got them what you need to do is over here to your internet click on network internet settings and down here to wherever you your, your uh, wireless or whatever you're on I'm on Ethernet so click your Ethernet change adapter settings now in your adapter right click properties now what you want to do here this this batch only works with IPv4. Now, if you've got IPv6 connected, it, the batch file will make no odds because your internet will still connect via your IPv6, so you can't lock it out. So disable IPv6. Go to IPv4, click on it to get the properties. Now change that obtain to use. Now your IP address is what you found here that's assigned from your router to your machine. Mine's 192.168.04. So whatever you yours is assigned, put in the address there. So mine's 168.04, so I'll put that in. All right, you put whatever is yours assigned. Click on the subnet mask, it'll automatically fill it in if it's on a default subnet. Now your gateway, my gateway is 192.168.01. That's the gateway from my machine to my router. That's the gateway. I need to change that. So what I'll do is I'll use the first two, two lots of digits, 192.168. Now instead of 01, I'll put it as 0. Is it, oh, fucking hell. 00, zero right? Oh, fuck. Let's try that again because it's been a fucking dig. So, 192.168. Zero, 00, right? So my IP, which is here, gateway, uh, subnet mask, and the gateway, which mine is 01, I've changed it to 00. Okay. Okay. Now what that'll do is it'll re-identify the network. Now it's trying to connect to a gateway that doesn't exist. So it should come up on identified like that. So we're now on identified network and it's now disabled the internet. So, once we've done that, we've got unidentified network with no no internet access we need to make a batch file so create a folder on your desktop call it whatever you want to call it now within there new and create a text file I know mine says bat but create a text file now within that text file edit it and write that in exactly so write that in exactly what you need to change is, is your IPv4 name. Now mine was named Ethernet, which is here, Ethernet. Mine's named Ethernet. So change that name to whatever yours is called, whether it's Wi-Fi, LAN, whatever it's called. Now, my IP address, which is a sign from router, um, is there. 192.168.04. So you put in whatever yours is assigned your IPv4 address. 
your subnet mask, which should be default, 255, uh, 255, 255, put that in. And then, that's the original gateway, but I changed mine to 00. So what you want to do is put 192.168.0.0 in. So your IP, subnet mask, and whatever you change your gateway to, which should end in 00. Whatever your first two lots of digits plus 00. The second line, you leave exactly the same, apart from just make sure that your adapter name is put there, whatever your adapter name is called. Mine, like I said, is called Ethernet. So it's there, Ethernet. Now, save that file. Now, that will be a text file. So how you change that from a text file to a batch file is go and see your file explorer view and here you need that ticked if you go into view there you should have that file name extensions if you tick that what that does is um, it changes a file uh, let's have a look uh, so like that file there that file says setup.log. Now without that, without that extension I've just ticked, it just says setup. So what that does is it enables you, after you've wrote that text file, right click on it, properties, and it should say there, whatever you've called the file, dot txt. Right? If you backspace out the txt and type in bat and apply and OK, it will change it to a batch file. Now, in order for this batch file to work properly, it needs to be run as administrator. Um, the only method I know of running a, a batch file as admin is to right click on it and click create shortcut. And that will put INET switch uh, bat shortcut underneath. Then left click it, drag it out onto your desktop. Now once you've got the shortcut to the batch file on your desktop, right click on it, properties. And in properties there, you want to click on the advanced tab and run as administrator. Make sure you've got a tick in run an admin. OK it, apply it, OK it. Now, what that does is, at the moment, because I've changed the uh, I've changed the gateway with no net. Now, what happens is, when you run this batch file, it gives you an option. Disable internet. Enable internet. Well, we're currently disabled. So what I'll do is I'll type in two, and then press enter. And as you can see now, we've got internet. Just to show you, boom, internet access. There you go. So, internet access. Now, if you want to disable your internet but still use your LAN, run the run the batch again. And in there, type in disable internet number one. Enter. Voila. No internet. Click on that. No internet. So we're now with no internet, but it's still left the LAN intact. So you click on your explorer. My network takes a, a few minutes to fire up. Right. Oh no, it's, it's got them. But basically, there's, there's machines that are on my LAN. So... We've got LAN access and no internet access. So nothing can access via the net in or out and we still have access to your full internal LAN um, where you can do any file sharing, online gaming without the worry of any net access at all. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.